Okay, so today I'm going to be doing things a little bit different. Um, I actually have a special guest on the show, so uh, make sure you guys stick around, watch his performance, his tutorial. Um, the trick he's going to show you is going to absolutely blow you guys away. Um, I'm really happy to have him on my channel, and please guys, make sure you check him out and make sure to subscribe as well. And uh, anyways guys, here is the video. Hi everyone, I'm Khan from the channel Khan Tricks, and today I'm guest on this great channel to teach you a very visual and easy to perform triumph effect that most of you probably haven't seen before. If you like the video, let us know with a thumbs up, and also feel free to check out my videos on my channel Khan Tricks, and if you like them, please go ahead and leave a subscription on my channel for completely free, of course. That's been said. Let's get started with the performance of this trick. For my next trick, I need you to pick any card from the center of the pack, let's say the Ten of Clubs. Once you have signed the card if you want to, and after it has been memorized, we're going to take it and place it into the middle of the pack, just like so. Now at this point, any magician could go through the pack and find your selection, and it would be a completely fine effect. However, I would like to go one step further and do something that many magicians do not like to attempt. It is creating a chaos by shuffling the card facing up into facing down, just like so. No sneaky moves whatsoever as I push them in and give them one cut like so. And if, of course, if this pack here wants to, he can cut the cards too, like so. Now I would like to prove one more time the whole pack is shuffled. We have here facing down, facing down, facing up, facing down cards. It's all different. Watch this now. I'm very relaxed because I know you have never seen a trick as clean as this. Yeah. All the cards turn back facing down, except for one card in the center, which I'm sure is yours. The Ten of Clubs. So here is the explanation for the effect. Now this trick does use gimmicks, and the gimmicks are probably gimmicks that you probably have at home, lying around somewhere, and you don't really have the right use for them. And these are basically gimmicks I use very often, which are double back cards. To be more precise, you have 26 double back cards. And the remaining cards here, 26 of them, are randomly selected cards. So you have blacks, red, black, reds, and so on. Okay? And your setup is very simple. The real cards, the facing with the faces, go on top of the double back cards. That's it. Now you can start the effect. Now to start off, you have the pack there, select the card. As you spread the pack very slowly, so they select a card from the top half, okay? You don't want them to pick a double back card. Okay, so spread them very slowly. As they touch one card, let's say this one, the nine of spades. You show it to the pack there, it can really be signed by the pack leaders. And once the pack leader has done so, you are gonna lose it in the bottom half of the pack, meaning you want to lose the card amongst these facing down ones, okay? Amongst the double backed cards, okay? And once you're in this position, you start, you start with your story. You say that you're not a usual magician, and as you're saying so, you are gonna lift up at the natural break here, separating the real cards from the double backed cards, and say that you would like to shuffle the cards facing down into facing up. As you're seeing this, you turn around the real pack, spread them to show it's really facing down into facing up, and give them a shuffle, okay? Notice I like to shuffle the facing up ones into the facing down ones, so there is one facing down card on top, okay? Show one last time, they really go into each other, and square them up, okay? Now from this side, the pack looks very shuffled. When you turn it around, however, all the cards are facing 
down as you can see, except for one card in the middle that is their selection. Of course, you don't want to reveal that very quickly. Okay, at this point, now of course you could spread the pack to show they are really cards facing up, facing down, facing down, facing down, facing up, like so. So they are shuffled. However, I believe this is too clean, okay? And especially when I perform to magicians, the display I like to show is this, by rifling the cards, okay? So when you do this, they think that the secret is right here, okay? Rifling the cards. So there might be some sleight of hand going on. Because if you just do this, in my opinion, it is too clean, so this pack you might figure out what is going on, okay? You just want to keep the attention here while riffling the cards. Once you have done so, you can lift up at the cards, show that there are double back, like face back to back cards, face backs, okay, facing up, facing down, and then as you're showing this, turn around the pack. That's a secret move, which you do very openly. And then show one more time, facing up, facing up, facing down, facing up, and set them on the table even though you just revealed their card already, the Nine of Spades. Doesn't look better. Now you stay here, very calm as in my performance and say, watch this, I'm gonna turn around all the cards facing down, except for one card. That could be one plot you could use, or you can say, I'm gonna find your card in a special way. Watch this. Without mentioning that all the cards will reverse, snap your fingers, and reveal all the cards facing down, except for one card in the center, the nine of spades. And at this point, you're done. You could just take the pack, square them up, put them into the card case and move on, or do just a deck switch and perform a usual effect. The, set, uh, the reset of this trick takes, of course, around 30 to 40 seconds, you just have to Take out all facing up cards, move them around to the top, and you are done to perform it again. But that's been said, this is a triumph effect, very simple to do. The only secret is double backed cards that hopefully most of you have already at home. If you don't, go ahead and buy yourself a pack of double backed cards because you can really use them for thousands of effects. This is just one of them, and probably, hopefully, in your opinion too, one of the most visual effects. That's been said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave a subscription on Hasta his channel and also feel free to check out my channel account tricks. That's been said, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time.